Here comes Toronto out to center, 3-2 Barons. Pass by Biggs over on the far side, taking a big spill over there was Ross. Penalty coming up, and then uh, Musil took Biggs down into the end boards, and Musil gets tackled over there. Ross is trying to throw punches on top of the pile. Biggs is hurt on the end boards. Kenny Ryan jumped in to get after Musil, and then Ross went a little goofy. And uh, we hope Biggs for the second time in the game crashes into the boards. We hope he's okay as Ryan went after Musil pretty hard. And Musil's going to get penalized. We'll see the severity of it. Well, I think uh, he no doubt had the original, but the, much like the Pisano move, uh, their player went in a uh, number of... Fumble it away, and it'll be kept alive by Granberg. His pass goes back of the net to Cozen. Recently acquired by these guys, Cozen in just his fourth game with the Marlies. Got his first point with them earlier in this contest. 3-2 Barons. Now it's fed to Brennan down the wing. Shooting scores. T.J. Brennan taunting uh, after his uh, to keep it in. Now it comes out high to Gurnat. 3-3 to score. Gurnat to Fadoon. Back over it goes to stretch. Far dot. Shooting. Saved. Rebound. Coombs. Score! Jack Combs puts it in. The rebound was sitting there at the edge of the crease. Combs scores. A power play goal, and the Barons take a 4-3 lead. Well, I'll take credit for that one, Jim. <laughs> Coombs is a natural goal scorer, and he knows where the puck can come to, and he sat back. He moved. He didn't move until the puck went to the net, and uh, Stretch got that puck to the net, and then Coombs just came in, and he just had uh, half the net. Driven up ice by Brad Hunt, and a race on. No icing here. Horak able to hustle down ahead of T.J. Brennan. Horak shoots it to the empty net, hit the goal post from a steep angle. Horak beat Brennan to the puck to nullify a possible icing. Now a shot from center ice by Lander, and he scores. Lander scores into the empty net, and the Barons take a 5-3 lead with a minute five left. Well, I can't believe that they're not upset over that icing call because uh, they should have called it. There, there's no doubt, and uh, Horak did. Jumped up ice, McWilliam left it in the corner, stretch intercepted. And they battle on now, and it comes back to Ford. He gets bumped in the corner by McWilliam. And it comes out of a pile, and Combs goes down to get it. He's occupying two Marleys. And McWilliam throws a little hit on Ford. Now it'll come loose to uh, Ford and Cozen do and uh, Co uh, Holzer doing battle. Holzer came away with a puck, fed it to Broll. Broll with a left wing feed, Ryan down the wing, trying to center it, broken up by Fadoon. Fadoon gathers it in, almost waited too long to pass it. But there's 12 seconds left and the Barons have won their third straight home game. Six seconds left, the puck goes back of the net. Hunt stops back of the goal. The Barons with strong specialty teams in the third period score a power play goal. They kill off a major penalty. They deal without David Musil for a decent portion of the period as well. And the Barons win by a final of five to three. They outshoot them by a gargantuan 42 to 22 margin. And the Barons snap a two game losing slide with the win right here. Five to three, the final. We'll recap it when we come back here on 96.1 KXY.